attention, please. We'd like to welcome you to the first annual Unity in Community uh, barbecue being thrown by the Coalition for Safe Communities of Cape May County. We are a new organization and we're, we're thinking about or trying to do everything that we can to bring our communities together. So we'd like to thank you for coming out and supporting this event. We have some great, great organizations that are a part of the coalition. Uh, we have some great agencies, some businesses that are a part of the coalition, and we want to just thank them for uh, supporting this event. I will come back and give you their names in a few minutes, but first I want to introduce to you the chairman of the Atlantic County branch of the Coalition for Safe Communities. That's Mr. Perry Mays, and he's going to talk to you a little bit about the coalition. Thank you so much. Glad to be here today. This is a great day. It's your first time doing this in Cape May. Briefly started out about eight years ago with the coalition. Now we're in Atlanta County, Salem, and uh, Cape May. It's about bringing around unity. Unity with police, law enforcement, schools, community, uh, kids, youth, just to work together as one. So I'm glad to be here today. Enjoy uh, today, enjoy the activities. Fellowship with people, it's about fellowshipping, it's about knowing and get to know everybody else. Folk that may not live in your same neighborhood, get to know them. That's what it's all about. Thank you very much. At this time, we're going to allow some of the dignitaries up from our uh, area to speak a little bit. Uh, we'll start out with uh, Dr. Gabba from the Atlantic Cape Community College. He is the president of Atlantic Cape Community College. to be here. What a great way to end the summer. And we really want to thank Mr. Mays and the Coalition for Safe Community for the Unity in the Community Day to bring us all together. It's so heartening to see so many families here, so many children here to come out and enjoy the day. And we really appreciate all of the different partners that have joined together to make this event a success. I am here representing Atlantic Cape Community College. We have our booth right over there. And I just want to let you know that our campus, we have three campuses, Atlantic City, Mays Landing, and Cape May. Our campus is right across the street over there. We encourage all of you to go to our booth. And we're very, very grateful that the governor has signed uh, a bill that will allow for free community college for the first two years. And I want to So all of you parents, grandparents, and friends, encourage your people, yourself, to go back to college and get that college degree. Start with the first two years, uh, almost free, before you go on or join the workforce. Because as you increase your education, you have so many opportunities. This county and all of New Jersey need skilled workers. And that skilled workers requires an education. So we strongly encourage you to go to our booths. Uh, we have bags there with information. We have people with information to apply for the free community college. I have the brochure right there. And again, if your income is under 65000 you are eligible for the free community college. Again, have a great day. It's really wonderful to see so many people out here. being so, so encouraging. Thank you. Prosecutor Jeff Sutherland. Thank you. Boy, what a great crowd tonight. This is really exciting. Unity in the community, that's what it's all about. Uh, my office working together with our coalition partners uh, to spread the word that we can make our community safer, happier, and a better environment for all the families here by working together collectively. So having a great crowd like this is it's very rewarding to me, very promising to our community, and I think we should all give a hand to all the volunteers working here and putting this together. So, one last thing before I hand the microphone over to your left. If you don't know, we have food it's being served by all the police officers. So, anybody, including myself, who was ever served a ticket one time, then you have a cop serve you a burger instead. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, at this time, we have uh, several um, uh, government agencies or governmental uh, people that were elected elected officials, and we're going to have them come up one by one and uh, say a couple of words. We'll start out with uh, Congressman Van Drew. Good afternoon, everyone. I can't hear you. All right. 
listen, this is a great day to see everybody come together. And there's one thing I learned real, real quickly when I got involved in politics years ago, that short speeches are a good thing. But I just want to say a few words. This is about us all working together. Law enforcement people, agencies, we all want safe communities. We all have the same blood flowing through our veins, don't we? And we have to work together. And we have to make South Jersey even better. So I have to tell you, when I'm in the halls of Congress, and when I'm on the floor, and I really mean this, I do it all the time, and I give speeches, I talk about South Jersey all the time. Because I'm proud of the people, I'm proud of what you do, I'm proud of the difference you make, and I'm proud of how hard you work. I admire all of you for being here today. I admire our law enforcement for being involved. I admire every organization for the difference they make. And I'm going to ask somebody to come forward because I didn't make 50,000 commendations or proclamations here, but I have one very, very special one. And this is one from the United States of America. It has got the great gold seal of the United States of America on it. It articulates what this coming together means. Now I don't know where it's going to hang or who's going to hold it, but it's for all of you, each and every person that is here. We can do better, we will do better, we're going to move forward, and we're, as always, South Jersey is on the map. God bless all of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, at this time, we're going to call Senator Bob Andrews Act. Thank you. Good afternoon. It is wonderful to be here with you today. If uh, you thought the last speech was short, wait until you hear this one. Um, it truly really is amazing to see so many people come out today, so many from the community, not only the community, but the agencies throughout the entire county and uh, the different organizations. This is truly amazing. I'm so happy to see the community coming together. And uh, just so you know, as your elected official, uh, I am here for you as well. If there's anything that we can ever do, anything that we can ever help with or answer any questions, we are here for you. We work for you. We work for the community. And uh, we make ourselves very accessible. So, again, I just want to thank all of our volunteers, everyone for coming out today. And I hope all of our kids have a great time today. God bless. Jerry Thornton. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I can't express how proud I am to be here with all of you. And I, I mean, what a, what a wonderful turnout this is, and what a wonderful program. And I mean it from my heart. I mean, you make my heart just sing here, being with all of you. Because you know what? I look around. This is neighbors taking care of neighbors and caring for each other. And I want to thank all the law enforcement personnel that are here, the prosecutor's office, because we have to remember all those law enforcement personnel are also our neighbors. And they care. Yep. It's very obvious about the effort they're making here today. So and our friends from Atlantic County came and helped us here. Believe me when I tell you, I'm very proud to stand here and be with all of you. It's simply a job well done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to introduce Freeholder Marie Hayes. Good afternoon, everyone. How's everybody doing? Come on, one time. Let's do it. Unity in the community. Listen, I can't tell you how proud I am to be able to stand up here and represent you as a freeholder. I have to tell you that prior to becoming a freeholder, I was in law enforcement. And I'm telling you, the men and women in law enforcement do care. And that's why they're here. And prosecutor, I just want to say to you, you are doing a fabulous job. An absolutely fabulous job. Chief Lusner, I am taken back by the representation here today. You have always been a person who forethinks everything, and you have brought unity to the community and everything you have done. Great job. Ladies and gentlemen, I have 
the honor of overseeing the park and zoo, and I have to tell you, they do their absolute best to make sure that you are brought here, you are welcome here, and this is a wonderful, absolutely wonderful event. Please take the time to walk around to all the booths. There is so much information here that it, that it will help you in every aspect. Please take the time, and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to be your freeholder. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, now I'd like to introduce freeholder Jeff Pearson. Wow. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to downtown KB County. What a great group of people I see in front of me here tonight at the best, greatest zoo in the state of New Jersey, as well as around the country, as yeah. well as around the world. We are ranked so high here, and it's all through the great efforts of the people, the employees of KB County, and how hard they work for you. And I hope you spend some time here. Maybe not today, but in other days. It's good to have you all here. The two happiest days was when I got elected in position to serve you, and the second happiest day was here. When I drove in here today and saw the crowds here, I was amazed. So I'm really happy that this has come together, and I congratulate all the people who are here to support it, as well as your attendance. So thank you so much. God bless you all. Now, Chief Lucen. Thank you for your peace, friend. I just have a few couple brief remarks. Just to thank everybody for coming. I want to thank um, Pastor Tony, Pastor Dawson, Perry Mays, who brought this down with the Safe Community Coalition with Pastor Dawson. What's great about our community is that our officers live here in our community. They raise their kids in the community. They send our kids, they send their kids to the schools in the community. And the police of the public are the public of the police. And that is community problem-oriented policing where we all have a responsibility for our community. And I couldn't be more proud and I welcome you here to Middle Township to be part of this fantastic event. Thank you. Last thing you want to hear is another speech, but I just want to say welcome to Middle Township. I'm so happy that this zoo is in Middle Township. So, but thank you everyone for coming and um, I want to echo what the chief said. Um, we want to just thank everyone for being here and just um, have a great time and enjoy yourselves today. God bless you all. I'd just like to say something about uh, Pastor Dawson. He, when I came down, he welcomed me in this community. He started off a, a great work down there. Michelle, you guys, the prosecutor, all you guys welcome us down here. I think Pastor Dawson, in a very, very short time, and your community has done Where? marvelous jobs. And when you look at the crowd, just for the first time, this is beautiful. So I just want to really echo that, because it took us a long time in Atlanta County for the first time. Cape May County, the first time you guys did it. It's fantastic. Pastor Dawson, you really need to come We just want to give a few special shout outs to some of the people that have sponsored this event and uh, have come together and helped build this event. Uh, we want to thank Wawa of Rio Grande who donated some stuff, uh, Walmart of Rio Grande. Also, we would like to thank uh, the Cape May County Prosecutor's Office. Uh, we'd like to give a special thanks to Cape Assist who have chipped in with some stuff. We would like to thank uh, Christ Gospel Church, the SOAR Church, uh, Macedonia Baptist Church, uh, ACCC, um, all of the people that have come together and, and helped make this event a success. We'd just like to say a very special thank you again. We cannot name them all. We'd like to thank the Middle Township Police Department, the Lower Township Police Department. We have officers from Avalon out here on the grill. So we just want to give all of those folks a great big thank you. So let's give a hand for all those folks out there. So uh, at this time, um, once again, we, uh, we want to thank all those folks, and uh, we want to let you get back to getting out there and having fun. We're going to start giving out uh, the book bags with the school supplies. Um, the book bags, again, were supplied by uh, the Sword Church, uh, Christ Gospel Love Center, ACCC, Macedonia Baptist Church. And um, the way that 